Good evening to all of you. Next year, Monroe County will see the end result of a 10-year project to improve radios for first responders. But not everyone is thrilled about this. Christian Garzon sat down with the county emergency manager today to talk about what we're going to see and what they're going to hear. It started with a tweet today saying Monroe County is switching to a new trunked radio system for firefighters. The tweet listed high costs and doubts on the functionality of the product. Two things firemen hate, change and how nothing changes. Timothy Kohlmeyer is a third generation firefighter and the county emergency manager. He's in charge of taking the 30 year old radio system in place and upgrading it. And if you could use the analogy, we're moving from a rotary phone environment to an iPhone environment. The new radios will have off system notify if first responders cannot make a connection due to obstacles and allow them to communicate through concrete barriers and offer traffic management. So what it does is it, it, it clarifies communications. The radios will still operate using radio waves but on a higher quality end of the spectrum. We're going to the 7800 megahertz range. So all around it's a better package for our first responders. Radio costs will range depending on needed features and the $6500 price tag cited in the tweet. Kohlmeyer says probably not. And the $6500 is a manufacturer suggested retail type price. It's not quite what government pays for equipment. Now, there are still other issues in that tweet that need clarification. Departments we spoke with in Rochester sent us to the city for comment, which we're still waiting on. And the Firefighters Union has a statement pending on the matter. We're also waiting on others to weigh in, so more to come. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Of note, Kohlmeyer says those departments in the county using the new radio system so far giving it high marks.